हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट स्टार्ट विद द न्यू टॉपिक ऑफ द अरेथमेटिक सीरीज दैट इज प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फेवरेट टॉपिक्स दैट इज बीन आस्ट एंड दैट डोमिनेट्स द अरेथमेटिक सेक्शन ऑफ क्वांट्स सो लेट स्टार्ट विद सम ऑफ द बेसिक फॉर्मुलेज और द टर्म्स दैट आर इन्वॉल्व इन सॉल्विंग द क्वेश्चन ऑफ प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस नाउ लेट एस फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज प्रॉफिट नाउ If an item is of rupees ten, let's say this is the price of the item at which the shopkeeper purchases it. So this is the cost price. This is the cost price for shopkeeper. Now he sells this item at fifteen rupees. So this will be the selling price for the shopkeeper itself. Now as we can see that. he is making a profit he is selling the same product at a higher price so profit is nothing but sales price selling price minus the cost price similarly loss is when the cp is higher than the selling price so this will be cost price minus the selling price now most of the times we are given the profit percentage and loss percentage so profit percentage is nothing but the gain now what is gain gain is that we defined as sales price selling price minus the cost price upon the cost price this multiplied by 100 now for loss percentage i am going to replace the numerator by cost price minus the selling price the rest all remains the same now one thing to note over here is that the denominator is always cost price so this is an important thing that you need to remember now moving on if we are given the gain percentage or if we know that there is an profit happening in the trade how do we find the sales price given now in this scenario what i am trying to suggest is i know the gain i know my cost price but my selling price is unknown this is the unknown over here so you can rearrange the terms uh, given in the previous formula or else there is a direct formula for that also my selling price is going to be 100 plus gain percentage upon 100 multiplied by cost price so <clears throat> let us apply this formula if i say that the article is of rupees 100 this becomes my cost price and i say that i am selling this article for 10% profit so my selling price is nothing but 100 plus 10 by 100 multiplied by 100 that is 110 rupees or else we can directly multiply it by the multiplication factor which we have discussed earlier whenever i say that my profit is 15% i am going to multiply my cost price by 1.15 this is my multiplication factor into cost price this is going to give me my selling price now we need to remember that whenever loss is given the multiplication factor will be 1 minus loss percent loss by 100 for gain this term will be 1 plus gain by 100 i hope up till now everything is clear now in this topic there are quite a few shortcuts which we will discuss while solving the sums <coughs> so please listen carefully and follow the shortcuts and also remember the terms and conditions that are involved while applying of the shortcuts now let us start with the questions and give them a try question number 1 riya purchased a refrigerator for 60000 rupees she sells it to monica for rupees 63000 what is the profit percentage she will earn <coughs> now as we can see this is her cost price this is the selling price 
Now selling price is greater than cost price. So this indicates there is a profit in the trade. Now let us calculate the profit. It will be SP minus CP which is equal to 63,000 minus 60,000 which is equal to 3,000. Now applying the formula for profit percentage dividing this by CP which is 60,000 multiplying the entire equation by 100. This gets cancelled, this gets cancelled, this gets cancelled. So I am left with 5 or my profit percentage is 5 percent. This is a basic example in which we just have to substitute the values in the formula which we have learned earlier. All right. Now in this question we are given that Kavya has purchased a house for $47,000. She had to sell it for $45,800. Find a profit or loss percentage. Now here we are not clear that whether it is in profit or loss. We know that this is our cost price and this is our selling price. And by comparing we know that the cost price is greater than selling price. So a loss has occurred. Now for calculation of the loss percentage. I am going to take the higher value that is the cost price 47,000 minus 45,800 and dividing this by cost price. Always remember that the cost price is taken as the base. Multiplying this by 100 I am going to get this as 1200 upon 470 so 120 by 47 so this is nothing but 226 by 47 percentage i hope the concept of profit and loss is clear to all of you and please do remember one note that the cost price is always as the base in this question we are given that a leather jacket is sold for 198 at a gain of 10 percent what is the cost price of the jacket? Now let us analyze the first bit of this question. We are given that the sales price is equal to 198. My profit percentage or P percent is equal to 10 percent. Now as we discussed that P percent can be written as in the form of multiplication factor as 1.1. So my cost price multiplied by the multiplication factor that is 1.1 is equal to my selling price. Now substituting the values what I am going to get is CP multiplied by 1.1 is equal to 198 and I am going to get my CP is equal to 180. Now following the traditional method <coughs> the multiplication factor without using the multiplication factor what I am going to get is my profit percentage <coughs> or in a simpler way the, this statement can be interpreted as as I am having 10% profit let us suppose that my CP is equal to P what we are given is the sales price is 110% of my CP this is nothing but my sales price is 198 110% is 110 by 100 multiplying this by CP and I am going to get my CP is equal to 180. So even by our multiplication factor method this term was 1.1. So it involves lesser calculation and it speeds up our process. Now let us analyze the second bit at what price it must be sold to gain 25% now we are given that my profit percent has to be 25% so let us put this term in the formula of the profit percentage 25 is equal to my sales price which is the unknown over here minus my cost price which is 180 which we have calculated over here dividing this by 180 and multiplying this entire thing by 100 so this is for so what I am going to get is my sales price is equal to 225. Alright, I hope the concept is clear over here. 
let us analyze this question we are given that the selling price is doubled if the selling price is doubled the profit triples find the profit percentage now let us assume that the cost price of the product is equal to 100 and the selling price is equal to s now we are given that if the selling price is doubled now initial profit was selling price minus cost price that is s minus 100 now this is my profit initial now we are given that the selling price is doubled so the sp2 is equal to 2s now my profit final is going to be 2s minus 100 so this is my pf and now we are given that the profit triples all right so 2s minus 100 is equal to thrice of the initial profit. Now solving this equation, as this goes over here, my S is equal to 200. Now I have to find the profit percentage which is nothing but my selling price minus the cost price upon cost price multiplied by 100. Now as we calculated my selling price is 200 minus the cost price that is 100 upon 100 multiplied by 100. So I am left with profit percent is equal to 100%. new question in this we are given that if the cost price of 12 pencils is equal to the selling price of 8 pencil the gain percent is now the mistake that the students do while solving this type of questions is they assume the cost of the pencil as some variable x then the their equation of selling price also comes in terms of x now the one thing that I would like to suggest is that take easy numbers, assume easy numbers as the unit price of any given product in profit and loss. For that matter, I am going to assume the CP of one pencil is equal to one rupee. Now let's look at it. Now what I am left with the cost price of 12 pencil is equal to 12 rupee. Now I am given that the selling price of 8 pencil is equal to the cost price of. So this is equal to the SP of my 8 pencils. So SP of 1 pencil is nothing but 12 divided by 8 which is equal to 1.5 rupee. Now this makes my calculation a lot easier <coughs> as you can see that the gain percent is nothing but sales price minus cost price divided by cost price multiplied by 100 that is nothing but 1.5 minus 1 upon 1 into 100 that is 0.5 into 100 that is equal to 50 percent. So rather than solving the question in terms of variable always assume some whole number or some sort of price for the product that is given in our question. It makes the calculation lot easier.